I've heard God's servant, the apostle over this commission, call the mystery of the greatest seed. Your greatest seed is not your money. Your greatest seed is not your time. Your greatest seed is not your energy. Your greatest seed are not your, is not your resources. Your greatest seed is your life. That is why God said, my son, give me your heart. What I want is more than your cash. What I want is your heart. My son, give me your heart. One of the issues that we find in our day and our age today is that people want to give God their cash. They want to give God their time. But they don't want to give God their life. But I'd like you to understand that what brings about a change of story is the offering of your greatest seed, which is your life. That is why there is a limit to how far any believer can go without dedication. Believe me, there can be no glorification without dedication. He said, it is time for the son of man to be glorified, but it will not happen except he comes down as a corn of wheat to die. And when he dies, he will bring forth much fruit. Now pay close attention this morning. In the book of Psalm chapter 20, 126, verse 5 and verse 6, the Bible makes a very striking statement. He said, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Look at the next verse. He that goeth forth and does what? And does what else? Bearing. Say it louder. Bearing. Say it one more time. Bearing. Is there an S on seeds there? One. He that goeth and weepeth, bearing precious seed. One seed. What is that seed? It's life. What is more precious than a person's life? He that goeth forth and bearing precious seed. No plurality. What we see there is singularity. Bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again. When your life is your seed, there is no doubt in your harvest. He that goeth forth and bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again, rejoicing, bearing his sheaves with him. God is interested in the offering of your life. When your life is planted as a seed in the kingdom earth, that is what dedication is and it is the only pathway to glorification. I pray this morning that as this sanctuary is dedicated, your life also will become dedicated. Amen. Somebody believe it, say louder, amen. amen. In Mark chapter 4, verse 30 down to verse 33, we are told there, it said that the mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on the earth, it said when it is sown, he said, it grows up and then begins to bring forth great branches. It becomes greater than all the herbs of the earth. He says, and shoots out great branches and the birds of the air begin to lodge under the shadow of it. It was insignificant as a seed, but by the process of dedication, it became relevant to all. I'd like you to understand that the pathway from insignificance to relevance is dedication. A seed can be overlooked, but not a tree. When it is in seed form, it can be despised, but not a tree. When you see a seed, you can step a seed, but you don't step a seed, you, you don't step a tree, you climb a tree. In a seed state, it is cheap to damage, but in its tree state, it is difficult to damage. That's what happens when an individual's life is planted 
in the earth of the kingdom. Suddenly, what was insignificant begins to garner relevance. I pray this morning that as your life is dedicated afresh, I see your life begin to manifest divine relevance. Somebody believe it, say loud amen. So every believer is a spiritual seed. But until the seed is dedicated to the soil, it cannot grow and bear fruits or have proofs. So the proofs of our lives are the outcome of the planting of our lives as seeds in the kingdom of God. Please pay attention to this and pay attention to it very closely. I like you to understand that because you have one seed, you can only plant it in one place. Any divided seed is a destroyed seed. Can you take a seed of corn now and divide it to four? Because you want to multiply it and plant it in different places. Not one part of the seed will grow because it has been divided. Why do we as believers want to divide our lives into different pieces and plant it everywhere hoping that it will produce fruit? A divided seed is a damaged seed. You can't have your heart part with God and part of it running after money. You can't have your life part with God and part with sin. Your seed can only be planted in one place. When a man has one seed, it can only be planted in one soil. And the best soil to choose for the planting of your life is the soil of the kingdom. When it is planted in the soil of the kingdom, it is guaranteed to produce supernatural fruits. And that's what God is calling us back to order today. He wants you to know that, listen, it's your seed, it's your choice, but only the right soil will bring the right fruits. How many of you know that not every seed grows well everywhere? Seeds require right condition to produce right manifestation. If your life will produce the right manifestation, you must be planted in the right condition. And that is why the word of God tells us those who are planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the court of our God. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright and there is no unrighteousness in him. So God says that the best place for your life to be planted is his house. To be planted in the kingdom. To be dedicated to his cause. That is the simple secret that makes the difference in an individual's life. If you ask God, Bishop David Oedipo, what is the secret to your life? He will tell you simply, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. One seed, one soil, great tree. That is the equation for greatness in the kingdom. One seed, one soil, great tree. It doesn't matter the size of the seed. One seed, one soil, great tree. Thank you for watching this teaching from Pastor David Oyedebo Jr. This is an excerpt from a message that he shared at Winners Chapel International, Maryland, during the, ded the dedication of the new auditorium. In this excerpt, he explains the mystery of a seed that it need to be dedicated to die and to be planted in one place. And according to this teaching, he has said clearly that the seed, the greatest seed is your life. And the greatest way that you can plant your life is stay in one particular place. Don't divide your attention. Let your attention be singular and then you, can, you shall get the greatest harvest in your life. For the word of God also says that if the eye be single, then the entire body shall receive right. So I believe this message has impacted you. This message has opened your understanding 
on how you are supposed to plant your life in one particular house of God which is the soil. Thank you once again. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Also like and comment on this video. Stay blessed.